Leo, I'm 60 years old. I've been working as a senior sales rep. I make a pretty good income. The company has hired a couple of new sales reps, uh, basically half of what I make. They would love for me to, to just retire and walk off into the sunset, and I would, I'd really love to go, but I don't want to go. I want them to pay me to mm-hmm. go. What do I do? Smart. Don't go. No, don't go. Cool. Don't go at all. Unless, yeah. unless, John, they've done anything or are doing anything to make his life more difficult, to make his life miserable and uncomfortable. If that's the case, so if, if Peter's employer is now uh, doing something to try to push him out, well, as I said before, this could be considered a constructive dismissal, which means he can potentially treat his employment as being terminated. But assuming that's not the case and he wants to leave, if the company wants him to go and he doesn't mind going, what's, not, what's to stop him from going to the company and saying, Tell you what, I'll leave, let's work something out. So it may not be 100 cents on the dollar in terms of severance, but if the company wants them gone, they may be willing to pay. Now, the the rule, of course, John, is that you only get severance if the company unilaterally decides to let you go. If you resign voluntarily, then you don't get severance. But nothing's stopping Peter or anyone in that situation for contacting the company and saying, let's talk about it. You probably want me gone, I'll go. But let's talk about the monetary terms. In many situations, that could be effective. There's nothing wrong with doing that. Uh, and if, uh, if Peter tries, it wouldn't be surprised me at all that he can work something out with his employer. EmploymentHourTV.ca or help at EmploymentHour.com as well through email.